All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to repair games that you think might be broken that you have installed through the Xbox desktop app. So when you're inside the app, this is obviously what it looks like, and your installed games are hanging out in the sidebar on the left-hand side. So let's say, for the sake of argument, that Oblivion is broken, something's wrong with it, and I need to fix it. So I can right-click it, and then I can get a bunch of new options. I can play it. I can add it to my wish list if I was only renting it, but it's been removed from Game Pass. I can add it to my play later list, share it, view in game in library and all that jazz. But what I want is manage at the bottom. So this will pop open and this will give me some more options. I can do things like create a desktop shortcut. I can uh, change the update priority. But what I want is I want to go to files. And under files, where you can browse where it's installed on your computer and how big it is, you can verify and repair the game. So you can click on that, and what it's going to do is it's going to scan the game and be like, oh, is there anything here that looks funny, doesn't look like it's supposed to? And then if it finds anything, it'll automatically delete that file and re-download it. Sometimes... Stuff gets corrupted when you're using it, like if your computer suddenly blue screens in the middle of playing a game or you lose power, it just kind of happens. And this is a way to try to figure out what's wrong with your game without necessarily installing or uninstalling it and having to redo the whole process. So I hope you found that helpful. That's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been How to Repair Your Games on the Xbox desktop app. I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.